Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal. Now that the portal has been in existence and mandatory since 2013, let's take a look at the updated portal. To get to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal, go to www.myflcourtaccess.com. When you get there, please notice we have a Help menu. On this Help menu, we have a number of aids that will help you to learn more about the portal. We have FAQs, we have training videos, some that take in the entire filing process, and some that are just brief two to three minute training videos. We also have training manuals. These manuals are updated with each release. They are in PDF format and fully searchable. When you're ready to go and log into the portal, you will need a username and password. Click on the eFiling Portal link in the menu bar. To get a username and password, select your filer role from the drop down and then choose the register button. That will take you through the registration process. Once you have received your username and password, you will be able to log into the portal. I'm going to jump over to test real quickly by using that username and password. When you log into the portal, the first page you will come to is your My Alerts page. If you have any alerts that are pending and alerts mean that you have documents or submissions that have been sent to the pending queue for correction, or you have received an e-service bounce back when you have submitted a document. Those are alerts that we feel are important to you and ones that you need to be aware of, which is why we have created your My Alerts page and put it at the beginning of the process when you log into the portal. Once your alerts have been cleared, you will then land at your home page, which can be designated in your preferences found on your My Profile. So let's take a quick look. We have two menu options on your menu bar. My Account gives you access to your My Profile page, which allows you to update any of your user details, change your password, remove payment accounts that you have saved, and set your preferences. To find out more information on your My Profile page, please take a look at the video on the eFiling Authority Board page that has to do with your preferences and your profile. Also, you have your email log, which is available for you in the portal. Your emails are retained for 90 days. You also receive them in your e-service or your email provider. If you are a law firm administrator, you will have access to your organization information, as well as managing your users within your organization. So you'll be able to inactivate them, change their password, or remove or disassociate them from your law firm. You'll also be able to add unaffiliated users to your law firm and to manage e-service. From your Filing Options menu, you have access to all of the different pages in the portal, which are also available in the quick links in the upper right-hand corner. Let's take a quick look at My Cases. For more detailed information on any of these items on the menu bar or the quick links, please see the YouTube videos that pertain to that one specific item. My Cases is a page that will give you access to all of the cases that you have filed to electronically. It gives you the ability to quickly select that case and submit a pleading, submit a proposed order if the county has agreed to receive proposed orders, give you access to the official court file by clicking on the case number, also give you access to your service list. 
It will house as many cases as you have filed to electronically, at least one document. Your search criteria is listed here, so you could do a quick search based on any of this search criteria and it will review all of your cases listed below and pull back what matches your search criteria. Your My Submissions page will house your submissions over the past seven days. The default is seven days, however you can enlarge that time frame by using the calendar flyout and go back as far as 90 days to do a search and pull up all of your submissions over the past 90 days. This is the search criteria available to you here. So if you wish to do a search over those 90 days of a status, maybe a status of filed, you can do so by quickly selecting your search criteria, performing your search, and then listed below you will see all of the cases from your My Cases page that match that search criteria. And again, you have access from your submissions page to filing another document to that case by clicking on the Submit button under the Pleading column. If the county has agreed to receive electronically proposed orders through the portal, a button will appear under the Proposed Order column. You have your submission number. You have a link to the notification of electronic filing, which gives you access to your NEF, which goes out to provide service, as well as the document attached to that. So that was from your My Submissions page. It also gives you access to all of your case or filing information. It gives you the case, your division, case style, filed by a matter number if you have used a matter number in your submission, the documents you sent in as well as the name you provided those documents, your service list, who received service and who was deselected for service, and if there was a fee or a payment that needed to be made, it would be captured here on this page to show you the total filing fee, a convenience fee if there was any, and the status of that fee. It also shows you the status of your submission. If it is a pending queue status, it gives you the remarks or the reason why the clerk has sent it back to that pending queue. So your My Submissions page has a lot of information for you right at your fingertips. You also have access to your official court file. So any case that you file to electronically, you have access to the official court file and the documents therein by clicking on the case style slash docket information. We also have a workbench. You can go through a submission process or stage that submission and then save it to a workbench which will act as a draft folder. To get back into that submission you simply click on the resume submission link it takes you back into the submission so that you can resume and send it off, make any changes that might be necessary to your submission, and then complete it or simply save it back to your workbench for filing at a later time. The items on your submission will be retained for seven days from the date it was last updated, and then it will be removed from the list. If you wish to remove it prior to that, you simply click on the red X. You will see on your workbench that the court or the circuit will identify what type of submission this was. If you see the trial court, a second district court of appeal, or the Florida Supreme Court, you will know that this is a document or a pleading. If you see the Ninth Judicial Circuit or any circuit, you will know that that was a proposed order. And again, they will stay on your workbench for five days and then they will be deleted off the list unless you file them before then. 
Your My Alerts page is simply the page that has anything that is important for you to be aware of. So we put them on an alerts page and this is where you will land when you log into the portal until they have all been cleared. And then based on your preferences, you will land on the home page that you desire. You see our news and information section here in the middle of the page. This pertains to the portal as a whole. Once you go to a county to file, this news and information will reflect the news from that particular county. It is also a good place to find out more information about filing electronically in a specific or individual county. Your e-filing map. This is where you will go when you're ready to file to a case for the first time, when you want to initiate a new case, or when you need to submit a proposed order to a circuit and a judge within that circuit. You can select the county by selecting the name of the county in the map. Be sure to select your filing path if it's not designated in your preferences. And then once you click on File Now, it will take you to your case information page on an existing case and you can see we are in Lake County and the news and information is reflective of Lake County and how they practice or what they do for electronic filing there. Now you simply go through the process and submit your document. For more information on the individual pages, on filing a new case, on filing to an existing case, please go to the eFiling Authority webpage under your help menu and your training videos. There will be videos as they pertain to each of those pages as well as a user manual that will be there for you to help you go through the filing process.